I believe it's safe to say I hit a little bit over 4 PSI on the scale of pressure. I'll have a link in the description. You can grab one of these or something similar to this on Amazon. It's just a simple pressure gauge that allows one to measure how much pressure is being exerted. I've had a few students ask me what they should get on something like this. Um, I've never really been into being so microscopic, but um, I've had some students say they can get one on this. Is that good? One and a half? Well, it depends on what you want to do. If you enjoy playing fourth trumpet in the Chicago Symphony, then I'm sure one would be just fine. If you wanted to play lead trumpet in my band, uh, which is extremely vigorous and rigorous uh, You're probably going to want to at least be able to get up to two on this baby. Maybe even two and a half This looks silly enough, doesn't it? So what's the point? The point actually happens to refer back to a main Argument I've been making all these years when it comes to chops and when it comes to breath It's not the type of airflow and breathing that for example, even though I like this guy Arnold Jacobs and some others uh, maybe even Claude Gordon to an extent um, and some others it's the compressed air that's coming out of your body not this warm free open air coming out of your that's for playing fourth trumpet in the Chicago Symphony or maybe playing fifth trumpet in um, Woody Herman band or something like that that's not for excelling above the staff in the upper register this will measure your ability to compress air remember it is the compressed air going through your instrument, no matter what brass instrument, contained by the strength and the musculature of your chops, the lips, forcing the top lip to the bottom lip down and maintaining that aperture that enables you to really excel in the upper register. Or if you don't want to play that high, it really allows you to open up your sound and you're going to be able to contain all that with this. You have to have both of the equations. You have to have the compressed air and you have to have this. Uh, the consensus, I believe the conservatory and university consensus as far as collegiate players is that it's all about this. But yeah, actually they're not even talking about this folks. They're really just talking about warm, slow air. Ah, yeah, my mouth is open. Don't pinch off your throat. Uh -uh, don't do that. Don't pinch off anything. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. That's your university professor speaking to you. And that's dead wrong. If you want to play and excel above the staff. If you want to play fourth trumpet in the Chicago Symphony, I've now said for the third time, then they are right on target. And that advice from them is perfect for you. If you want to play third uh, cornet or trumpet in your community concert band where your highest note is a C in the staff or maybe a fourth line D that advice is perfect for you you'll get the best sound the best endurance the best tone yes but when you grow up ladies and gentlemen you have to play above the staff yes you do and if you want to excel and sound good way on above the staff you have to get your act together and that comes down to mastering and gaining a sincere and serious amount of compressed air and going through the process to extremely and masterfully develop chops, embouchure, okay? Lip muscles, embouchure muscle, muscles, corners, everything you've ever heard about. You can't have one without the other unless you don't mind playing fourth trumpet part or third trumpet part. Then you can have one without the other. Now I'd like to do one more bonus demonstration this is going to be my version of pressure with no air. So I'm going to exhaust all the air out of my lungs and use only the air inside, trapped inside my mouth and have my tongue arch force it out. I think you might find this interesting. This is no air, at least no air coming from my lungs like you saw at the beginning. So I'm going to, you'll hear me breathe in, I'll exhaust all my air and then I'm going to try to compress the air here. It's your ability to compress the air. Now in the beginning, I got a better result because I had all the air pressure, which is what you want to do. I just proved a point. For those of you who have 
maybe some lung problems, some breathing disorders, I proved a point that, that if you actually develop compression breathing, which is three stages, and I actually have the videos here on YouTube if you want to search for them. If you develop those, those are not automatic. You have to develop those. If you develop all those and can sync them, you'll be able to do what I just did. What You want to see me do that one more time? I want you to turn up your volume and listen carefully. There's no cheating going on here. I inhale, I exhale, and then I will do the pressure experiment here. If you listen carefully, you'll be able to hear I had no air, took no breath when I did that, and then as soon as I finished, I had to inhale. That was a demonstration of pure compression. There was no air, just an ounce of air trapped inside my mouth. I'm not going to make this video too fancy like I've done recently with some others. I'm not going to throw in a lot of graphics and a lot of this and a lot of that. Um, I didn't really have the time. In fact, I got a million other things that I needed to do, and um, I haven't had a lot of time to... Um, to really dig in and do some some more professionally edited videos. It takes a lot of time and I just didn't have that. I'm just going to throw this up here for people who might be interested in wondering if, if breathing and how does breathing actually affect your sound, your playing, your tone, your power, and more importantly, your range, but even not, not less than that, your endurance. And breathing does matter, but not the way you think, folks. Not from somebody at your college or university, what they're telling you. I would highly recommend that you pay heed to what I just did in this video. I'm Kurt Thompson. You can find out a lot more, including courses involving breathing and range building for all brass players at TrumpetSizzle.com. I'll see you in the next one.